Wake up, you little bitch. Today, I'm going to tell you a story that I pretty much have told very few. I lost $6 billion. $6 billion. So, take it back to around October 2009. Something was invented called New Liberty Standard. This was basically the first place to put a monetary value to Bitcoin. So before then, you could get Bitcoin, but it was worth zero dollars, right? And really all it was, I don't know if it was a person or people involved with Bitcoin or what it was, but basically it was send a dollar to PayPal and you'll get this many Bitcoins. And around this time, when I first started, I think it was like 1300 and some bitcoins for one dollar so time goes on i think it was just a matter of days when i learned about this but i stumble upon this website and when i come there it said 1100 and something so it was more than it was 1100 and something like nine or something Bitcoins for one dollar. So I'm sitting there and I just got off a break at my job and I was watching the news and they just were talking about Bitcoin, black market activity, money laundering. Watch out for Bitcoin. So I knew Bitcoin was something, but I wasn't really sure what it was, right? I'm 25 years old. The news is telling me it's black market activity and to watch out for it. Not that I listen to the news or anything, but, you know, I'm young, I'm ignorant, uneducated. You know, I graduated high school, but with like C's, you know, fell asleep in class and whatnot and clowned. But, uh, you know, I always thought maybe I was a smart person, kind of like decently smart. You know, I didn't think I was an idiot for real, but where I grew up around is frowned upon to be smart. So we're ignorant, we're stupid, you know? Uh, that internet shit, we messing with that internet shit. You know what I mean? Um, which is unfortunate, but that's how it was. I ain't on the internet. No, guess what, stupid. I sat here at this website for 15 minutes. Now, I'm looking at this website, all it is is like a white web page blank with like a table on it with the you know the rates or whatever and at this time i had a website of my own with different colors to it we had like you can download this song you know uh buy our album with the checkout button so when i go here to the new liberty standard it says for each dollar you send to this address or whatever, to this PayPal, you'll get 1,100 Bitcoins. Just watch the news telling me it's black market activity and it's money laundering. And I'm like, looking at it like kind of weird. Like, why wouldn't there be like a buy now button or something like this if this was some real cutting edge technology or whatever, right? So... I sit there for 15 minutes and the person I work with goes, should we throw a hundred in there? I said, man, I don't know. And I was reading up on it further and I seen that to get these Bitcoins, you gotta download something. And around this time, every program is what? It's a virus. <laughs> you couldn't tell me otherwise. Hmm. Send a dollar and get a thousand bitcoins, but then you got to download this program that installs on your computer and runs on your computer. Generate this and hashes and all this stuff, whatever. I'm looking at this stuff like, this is crazy, right? Like, I didn't even have the mind to comprehend what I was reading. But like I said, also, I'm going off that news right after I got off a break telling me Bitcoin black market activity and this and that. And I'm like, this is crazy. So we sat on that website for 15 minutes. I read up and once I found out you got to download this program and run it 
and it stays on your computer and running and this and that, I said, fuck Bitcoin. And my dude was like, yeah, fuck Bitcoin. And we thought we were smart. We thought we, yeah, we got credit cards. We got PayPal. Fuck Bitcoin. Man. Just to do a little math problem. Let's just say $60,000 Bitcoin, right? $1, 1,100 Bitcoins. That's $66 million. Times it by 100, $6.6 billion. I would have had half of that, so $3.3 billion. But I'm ultimately the one that lost $6 billion. Dollars. 